That's not fear I smell, is it? Just show me where the fun is. The last one to arrive is finally here. I hope you don't think you're special. It would be a shame if freedom went to your head. Or if you somehow got the idea you didn't need to pass your trials to become Sith. Lord Zash has tasked me with sorting through you refuse to find one worthy of being her apprentice. And I intend to do just that. Who is this Zash? That's Lord Zash to you, slave. She's a Dark Lord of the Sith, and more important than you'll ever be. Now the rest of you gutter trash already know your trial. Get going while I bring our latecomer up to speed. Watch your back, friend. And don't worry. It'll be alright. He can't kill us all. Thanks. That means a lot coming from a beautiful girl. <laughs> You're cute. Just watch you don't get yourself killed. Now, slave, for your trial. There's a hermit named Spindrol who lives in the tomb of a Junta Paul in the Valley of the Dark Lords. Spindrol's a lunatic, but Lord Zash sees him as some kind of prophet. Once you find him, he will test you. 
I'll do my best to please Spindrel and accomplish this trial. But there, you know your task. Spindrel lives in the tomb of Ajunta Paul in the Valley of the Dark Lords. Don't keep Spindrel waiting, slave. Excuse me, Acolyte. Sergeant Corman, 5th Infantry Company, Corriban Regiment. Can I... can I talk to you? I'm a little tied up at the moment. Understood, sir. But I require assistance from someone who can do things I can't. You're one of the slaves Harkin brought in on the last transport, right? Here to prove yourself to the bloodthirsty overseers? Prove myself or die, apparently. Well... Here's your chance to not only show off for the Overseers, but start building ties to the Imperial military as well. I'm here commanding a hard target mission to exterminate claw slugs in this tomb. They're horrific things. Mouths bigger than your head. I've lost three squads of good men fighting them. They come in packs. They just... they'll swallow a man whole. Then I suggest you try a new strategy. Look, we... I've identified the enemy's weak spot, but it's not easy to get at. The damn claw slugs breed so fast there's no way to wipe them out conventionally. So we started targeting their egg chambers. They went insane. We managed to get explosives to all of the egg chambers, but the claw slugs were all over us before we could detonate them. Are you sure this plan of yours will actually work? I don't know. I have to hope so. Without breeding chambers, the claw slugs lose the numbers. Then we can wipe them out. Don't underestimate those claw slugs, sir. They're... they're smarter than they look.
I heard the explosions when you set off the charges. Outstanding, sir. What dark secret shall I share with you? Be gone. Slave, welcome to my humble hole. You are here for your trial, yes? Learn the ways of the Sith from a doddering old man in a tomb, and hopefully to return to your master with the mark of my approval. Yes, my lord, that's right. Of course it is. I know the way of things on the surface. But before I answer either way, you must pass a trial of blood. Survive, and I will teach you what I know. Excellent. These former acolytes wanted nothing more than to earn their second chance for glory by killing you and taking your place. But your desire proved stronger, and their blood became the mantle of your victory. Well done. But you are not Sith yet. Peace is a lie. There is only passion. Through passion I gain strength. Through strength, power. Through power, victory. Through victory, my chains are broken. This is the Sith Code. Commit it to your heart, and you will have the strength to crush your enemies. Do you understand? Yes, I think I do. I must use my emotions to grow strong. Do not be timid. Humility is the attitude of a slave, not a Sith. 
Now go. Return to Harkon and nurture your hatred for him. And use your fear of him to grow stronger. He may raise his fist to strike, but it is Lord Zash who determines where the blow will land. But who controls Zash, I wonder? When you know the answer to that, you will have power over both your masters. Now go. Leave me to my rest.
I have taken care of your problem with the looters in the tomb. Ah, then I'll assume my men are dead. Even so, you have done us a great service. Their loss is your gain, I suppose. Then I'm finished here. Yes, sir. You must be one of the slave acolytes. Pretty easy to see why Overseer Harkon was horrified. Regardless, Lord Zash has made it clear that all new acolytes must learn martial skills as well as face their trials. Though why anyone thinks you can be taught is beyond me. Just point me toward the trainers. At least you're an obedient slave. You will find the instructors in the Academy's archive. Hurry. And try not to embarrass your betters. one. Always the latecomer. Now we can see what the hermit thinks of you, slime. Hmm. Acolyte Cory. Step forward, please. Yes, Overseer. You are a weak, pathetic rodent, and even a lunatic like Spindrel can see this. And that means... Meet our newcomer, Fon Alt. This is real Sith strength, and he will tear you apart and crush your bones, slaves. Look on him. No connections left in the world but pure Sith blood. This, this is Lord Zash's future apprentice, not filth like you. Nice to meet you, Fawn. Hope Harkon treats you better than he treats us. Save your well wishes for someone who cares, slave. Step this way, slave. I want to speak to you privately. The rest of you get out of here. You know your trials. You too, Fon. Spindrel awaits. Now, listen to me. Spindrel is a lunatic. His approval means nothing. You are filth, and you will die. Is that clear? as an unmudded lake. Good. Now, your second trial. Lord Zash has requested a special trial for you, which you will no doubt fail. Go to Inquisitor Zinn in the jails. He will fill you in on the details, and most likely hasten your demise. Don't count on my demise, Harkon. I don't die easily. Don't boast, slave. I don't want to see you again until you're back from the jails. That's all. 